Why can't I have both? <laughs> you could. I'm not saying that, that that cozy dick energy. That cozy dick energy. There is <laughs> such a thing. I mean, cozy. like I have all of the images in my brain right now. So <laughs> all of them. Starting the show. Sorry. Broken, ruin. <laughs> What's up, everyone? This is Screen Smash, a Couch Soup's video game podcast where we talk about all things in and around the world of video games. You can catch us every Friday at noon PST over at Couch Soup on YouTube and wherever you listen to podcasts. And you can hear us a day early by swinging over to CouchSoup.com and joining any of the paid member tiers. On the screen, we have Brandy. Hello. Jake. Yo, yo. And back by popular demand, Des Cleveland. Hi. Hey, Des. What's up? Thank you for having me back. I didn't know if I would get an invitation back after last time. And we were lying. (laughs) This is the perfect time to bring you back, though, Des. I think it's Mm -hmm. a good one. And uh, I'm so glad to have you. But before we get into it, I just got to shout out that I am your host, Dan Morris. Uh, And then on this episode of Smash... We are talking about <laughs> games you play when you are just done adulting, cozy games, mindless games, the ones you put on when you've had a long day and you just want to say, fuck it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So to Love get that. us started, uh, let's spend a little bit about time of a uh, little bit of time talking about the games uh, that we're talking about tonight and why they matter so much to us. And I'm going to throw it at you, Brandy, to get us started. Well, I'm an accountant, so I am like crunching numbers all freaking day long. And by the time I get home, I'm brain fried. I just want to turn it off. Just turn it completely off. Shut everything down and shut everything out sometimes, (laughs) especially if you've had a bad day. And like these are the perfect games to it, whether it's like, you know, farming sims, whether it's, you know, just easy dungeons or nice music or you know sometimes you just have to mindlessly blast something in the face you know those are cozy games those are chill games to me yeah we definitely have our um shooty mcblast face nights that's what we call them (laughs) shooty (laughs) mcblast face love it love it love it um no i i agree with brandy though uh it's definitely games that turn your mind off uh that play such a big part in dealing with like mental health and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, Because, you know, everybody knows life sucks. Life sucks. And we have to find that outlet, you know, those those games that can just kind of just let's stop being who we are and let's let's just turn our mind off and let's let's be the the people who fix houses or (laughs) mow lawns or (laughs) power wash things. I I don't (laughs) it's it's such a weird thing like what satisfies us but i mean if you get that experience to where you're not thinking about real life problems like that's that's my cozy game how about it does oh it's my turn (laughs) Um, (laughs) back to you i'm just like (laughs) um so like the cozy games i like i like playing with my friends so if it's a game that i can jump in with friends and like do some farming maybe romance and npc or whatever like that's what i'm into and and i totally get like needing to cut off and sometimes needing to cut off from another game because i feel like baldur's gate which i absolutely love that game i have to think like a lot in Baldur's Gate. And so like i was gonna play it over the holiday but i ended up just playing games that i didn't really have to think um and some of those games they're not really cozy but like street streets of rage is a game that i could just go in and just button smash and not worry about anything teenage mutant ninja turtles the latest mm. one have is also one that could just go That's in um uh river city <laughs> girls face. is hard but also like a game that you could just go in and like just punch your way to the finish line Mm -hmm. so um but not all my games are fighting just like some of them as i'm fighting the man and you know trying to stay above water yeah that's it yeah i don't know why i said that at the end i'm I'm exhausted (laughs) welcome back des (laughs) we missed you (laughs) fight the power okay but yeah (laughs) (laughs) I have my games that I like to turn off to and 
like you guys that, that there's different games for that too because it's not necessarily just the the cozy games per se but the games that allow you to kind of like just disconnect shut your brain off and like you said des too about the like i don't want to play a hard game that makes me have to think or that like takes a lot of energy especially because like i like a lot of hard games i like a lot of challenging games but those are not the games i want to play when i'm already stressed out because then i'd be like yeah it's not a good day to be playing some bloodborne or dark souls or elden ring today so i like uh <laughs> one of my go-to chill games is actually a series called earth defense force where you just run around blasting bugs with machine guns and rocket launchers nice. it's super satisfying it's super cathartic you launch a rocket you watch a bunch of bugs go <laughs> like explode mm-hmm. in the air and just like ah <laughs> yeah battlefront 2 is mine like playing against ai like i just blast droids in the That's face a lot of fun that's uh one of brandy and i do that together she'll be like you want to play some battlefront and i'm like yeah all right we'll spend like an entire evening playing battlefront together and we just do the the mode versus bots and we're just Mm -hmm. like ah mowing (laughs) kill everybody (laughs) so much fun (laughs) kill them all yeah yeah absolutely murder all the droids murder all the clones (laughs) murder talking about um earth defense wars Killing alien, uh, not, what, do you, what do you say? Like Bugs. ants? Is that what you said? Bugs. Yeah. Bugs. Yeah. Bugs. Bugs. yeah. All I'm thinking is like, man, I was like, if they need to make a sequel to uh, Ant Bully or whatever it was, I was like, Dan should be the protagonist in that movie. For <laughs> blasting things. How do you how do you like it? That honestly reminds me of the time that we played what's supposed to be like a kind of chill building game with Dez. Oh. Story time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like when we got away, I didn't know when we were gonna Speaking play of again. Bugs. You guys never ever were like, "Hey, when are we gonna play again?" Dan came to me and was like, "Hey, we didn't scare you off," and I was like, "No, like whenever you play again, let me know." And you guys never played again. So. What game was this? Somehow grounded. Grounded. Yes. Ooh, Somehow, game. like <laughs> just like me, Maria, Dan, and Des were playing, and like. We just kept getting attacked by freaking gigantic spiders. Yeah, that was scary. That's the next time we did. Did you turn off? There's the option to make it less scary. Did you try that? No, it doesn't yeah. matter because no, but they this, make the sounds. The like, spiders yeah. were just super yeah. aggressive for some reason, and like yeah, Dad's just screaming, so like aggressive. I've never seen this before. I've never seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like huddled in the tent. We're all it poking the spider so in the face. Like in game, like our second in uh, in game day, and like we're just getting attacked by like wolf spiders every time. We, like multiple wolf spiders. I don't know what was happening. And we ended up like quitting. Like, we're but what I'm hearing that. is we need to play more video games with Des because yes, he's we very do. upset. Yeah, <laughs> we should. You guys yeah. should play Small Land. That one's also scary. I don't know that one. Small but end. Says, we right. do stream for Screen Smash after hours, and we're doing more streams, so we will definitely invite you back. For yeah, yeah, back. I'm down. I'm down. Heck yeah! So we all have our cozy games slash mindless games slash fuck it all games. Like insert clip of Robin Williams. Fuck it all. I don't feel anything. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> fuck it all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Life got you down. Fuck it all. It's literally what that is for. <laughs> like you just turn everything off. I need to get into this with. Uh, Jake, because we both play the Power Wash Simulator. Yes. And I can't help but every time I'm playing Power Wash, I sit there like, man, if I could get paid as much as this guy's getting paid for doing this, I would absolutely do it. I thought the same thing. Have you actually Power Wash, though? Have you ever, like, Power Wash? I have, yeah. I... I did for the first time, maybe a few months back. I did my driveway. Mm-hmm. I was just like, oh my God. I was like, my arms hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's tiring, but it's also super cathartic, especially if you're like me and have OCD and you're like, I got to get every single speck of dirt. No, off yeah, this no, thing. That, that's, that's how I was. And I was like, oh my goodness. It's funny because like, I look at my wife. I'm like, look, I'm doing the thing. I'm doing the thing. <laughs> when I'm done, everything's going to flash orange and go, ka-ching. Yeah, right. <laughs> Where's the money? Yeah. Jake got me into House Flipper. Like he's like he's like, "Oh, you should play House Flipper. It's on Game Pass." And I'm like, "Okay." Yeah. Hundreds of hours later. I need to get back to that. I I, I played maybe a few hours of it and then I think I went back to Power Wash Simulator. Yeah. But I think the concept of it was really cool like busting down freaking walls. I I love being able to fix up houses. Like, I don't know. It's just there's just something to it. Do you play The Sims? Do you do that in The Sims? Do I, you play the Sims? I do. 
Um, I actually wrote an article about The Sims because I was like, why the fuck do people play this? Because, like, I I don't know. I, I think I was just playing it wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but my Sim had no bodily function control. She would just, she would be standing next to the bathroom and just piss herself. And Did then, she not get to the toilet? Like, was she never got to the her? toilet. No, no, it's not, not blocked. She's just stupid. Oh. Like, they're so, like, yeah, I've like, never had that issue. They're That's like small, small children <laughs> that need to be like guided to everything. Like you can't leave them unattended. Like which seriously. Sims were you playing? Four. Okay, I don't know like, if they. The they sometimes if the like even if you can't see a physical <clears throat> thing blocking the yeah. toilet, like they can't get there, they'll just pee anywhere. That's why I was asking. Like, could no. she not actually? That's and weird. She couldn't cook a damn thing. She kept setting the place on fire, and then yeah. somebody freaking came over to my house and died. Yeah, that's not it cozy. Like that is not cozy. Like it sounds died. like a good game. Like I don't understand why you're complaining. Somebody died. Fires and people <laughs> dying. Like, just... Sounds like you went on an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> and then Death from the panel? showed up in my house and is just like reading my books. Yeah, Death will chill with you like that. And I'm like, mm-hmm. can you get the fuck in my house? Yeah. Question from the panel. Yeah. This is your cozy game. <laughs> No, no, it wasn't cozy, cozy to me. for her. It's cozy <laughs> for me. <laughs> I also add mods to it, so that was peeing that's everywhere. This is random dudes everywhere. showing up, and this guy died. Yeah, <laughs> setting fires. Yeah. You know, can't even cook macaroni and cheese. <laughs> you probably had a really cheap stove, which probably. they do catch on fire a lot, which is stupid. But that, I mean, like that's like well known. Like if you have a cheap stove, it'll catch on fire. Have you yeah. tried playing um? I haven't played the game personally, but I know they have like the Star Wars uh, like pack. Have you tried that out? Yes. Did you, yeah, I would say you bought that, that, right? How was that? I did. It's fun, but I mean, it's still the Sims. Can you set things yeah, on fire though. Uh, no, but <laughs> like people kept getting into fights in the street, and I'm like, I'm I'm out. Like I so burn a lot of food in so? Sea of Thieves whenever we play that. Yes, you <laughs> do. <laughs> setting things on fire. You you burn our ship down. Oh. Well, we do that on purpose now. Yeah, oh, man. Sea so you do. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. I, I, I haven't played. I think the last time I played Sea of Thieves was actually with you two. Probably. Oh, oh yeah. Right yeah. after my daughter was born, and because I remember at the time I was, uh, my wife and I were going through, um, the Pirates of the Caribbean DLC that they had, mm-hmm. and the thing was like five different episodes. We made it through like three of them, but so good i completely yeah. forgot about it's, that. Game. That's a super chill game until you get until. some asshole pirate. <laughs> Like, but they also did, aren't they releasing <laughs> like an offline for that? They're adding an offline mode, yeah. but it's limited and it's capped. Like you can yeah. only do so much in the offline mode. Like we're pirate legends. Like our very yeah. first like pirate legend like quest we went on, like we completely got ransacked by another like pirate. He took all our shit and killed us. Asshole. Like PvP. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I hate PvP. For I that, do too. For but that reason, I, I hate it. Yeah, but that's what Sea of Thieves is. It's super oh, okay. fun. You're like chilling. You're you're sailing the ocean. You're you're running around like digging up pirate treasure and all kinds of stuff, like pirate yeah. maps. See, Super fun. The whole thing is you choose yeah. whether or not to be a pirate and actually pirate other players, or yeah. to be friendly and you not choose whether that. or not to be a dick. So basically, um, it's all the player yeah. choice to be like, I'm going to go fuck these people and take all their treasure. So yeah, the video games you. we're talking about, nobody's yeah. nice. I just, yeah. I don't like that. I don't spend enough time in a, in one single game to get good enough to like take on other people who yeah. spend all their time playing. That's one always game. my problem. Yeah. yeah. So I don't do yeah. PvP. But then we also had like random crap happen. Like uh, we got got by a kraken, and we got hit by the kraken and the megalodon and the, at the, the same megalodon, time. The megalodon, yeah, at the same time. Oh my god! Dang. That was. Fun. I think I have really bad luck in games. <laughs> Maybe my maybe it was my fault that this. This might have gotten game. a little off. Message. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I like to think of it as a cozy game, though. It I mean, is I, for the most part. It is. I have my fun. I, it's a cozy game until it's not. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So that's a that's a thing we could talk about. Cozy games until they're not. And like the other one we were talking about earlier was Valheim. Yeah, I Valheim is Valheim. super chill uh, yeah. until it's not. Oh yeah, I never so get nice. far enough yeah. for it to not be chill. Like mm-hmm. as soon as it seems like it's a little not chill and they start raiding i like start playing a different game not on purpose i think it's subconscious like you don't want to deal with this shit you have to deal with shit in real life yeah, exactly exactly like 
I just want to build like and farm yeah. and make a yeah. nice home. That's it. I don't want to find any goblins. I don't want to find. Any... That's why I play with like a lot of guys who want to fight. Yeah. Cool story, bro. I was playing with this guy. <laughs> Yeah, the German guy I was playing with this guy and um, he got so mad because I didn't want to like go in the dungeons and stuff. And I was like, yeah, well, I'm trying to build us a like, nice you, home. You got that. I got this. Yeah. Take like, care of the dungeon. We are, we're doing our part and, and we're, we match pretty well. So now he just lets me do it. But he got so mad. He rage quit. Like he built this huge tower to show me he could build his own house. <laughs> he rage quit. Was, That's my move. I build the towers. Yes. I yeah. build towers in every game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, he builds the towers tower, but gets I mean, murdered by trolls. So you know, I build towers fine. in uh grounded. I build towers in Valheim. I just I just I'm like I'm gonna build the biggest tower I can. It's just gonna go straight up. He's compensating for something. I try to build like family homes, like with bedrooms and everything, no matter what game I'm playing. Bit of a, a tangent off topic, but uh if we can, I'll take a moment to like uh try to set us up for this piece. Is there any upcoming game that you're really excited about that fits the bill of a mindless game that you're just mm -hmm. like, oh, I can't wait to shut my brain off to that? House Flipper 2. <laughs> it's coming up in December. That's true. Is it really? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And it's, it's got houses. a lot of like, yeah, cool different tools and things like that. So building's a little different. It's I just want it nice. to be the most random sequel and House Flipper 2, but it's like bodybuilders and they're literally just flipping houses. <laughs> yeah. That made me think of something. There's actually yeah. a house flipping game that's getting made that's coming out where you're actually repairing murder houses. Ooh. And it's a horror Ooh. game. Oh, you showed that to me. I want yeah. that. It looks actually super fun and it's like a yeah. house flipper game, but you're repairing you're like murder basements and yeah. things. Nice. Gonna clean it up. I forgot what it's called. Um, oh, it's so cozy. <laughs> Super so cozy. Yes. <laughs> uh, Puff Pals is another one. Like it's an Ooh, alpha yeah, right Puff now. Pals. Yeah, mm. it's an alpha. That's one of the ones I crowdfunded because I was like, I, it's so cute. It's so freaking cute. But I've been playing the alpha. It's adorable. There was one that we had talked about um, on our old podcast, actually, that we were all kind of excited about, and that was Bloody Ho Hell Hotel. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Have you heard of this Hell one, Des? Mm -hmm. So. I'm trying to remember the core basis of it, but essentially you, I think it was, you're a vampire and you're mm -hmm. starting a hotel, but you have to like balance between actually entertaining your guests and turning them into like ghouls and stuff to work for you and enslave them and or eat them. Mm -hmm. So there's like a balance between actually running a hotel and also eating your guest <laughs> and like that using kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. It that looks super cool. cool. It, it low key sounds stressful. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's it's part of a management game. Yeah. V Rising was really good too. I've I played V Rising. V Rising was good. I never get far enough in the game though. I didn't get super far in it, but yeah. I enjoyed what I played of it. Yeah. Hmm. The bears kept ruining my day. Damn bears. Damn bears. All the bears. I kill all the bears in um New World though. Because one killed me one time, and now that I'm high enough level, I just take them all out whenever I see them. <laughs> You're going down, bears. It's like, oh, you were minding your own business? Mm -hmm. Time to die. Yeah. <laughs> Time to it's die. kind of like Red Dead 2. Like, man, it, it, it's cozy till it's not. I, I couldn't get into it. I've tried it multiple times. It's Mountain lions enough. and bears at the same time. If we're going to go down that road, I was just like, because Brandy and I also played Red Dead before. And there were so many times where we play Red Dead online. And like, all we're doing is like, we're going to go fishing. And we spend like hours fishing. We're doing mm -hmm. nothing yeah. for hours. I love fishing. Right. Like, if you have a good fishing mechanic in your game, I don't yeah. like fishing in real life. Oh, yeah. No. But I will fish like all day in a game. Yeah. It's almost like every time Brandy starts a new one of these chill games, one of the first things is like, how's the fishing mini game? Is it pissing you off? <laughs> yeah. No? Great. <laughs> Because some of them, I'm just like, fuck that fishing. I'm not doing the fishing in this game. <laughs> if you're a cozy game, don't like, for anybody out there who's watching and like makes cozy games, do not make the fishing overly complicated. Then nobody will ever fish and it'll just be a pointless thing that you worked on in your game. Yeah. Especially when you have to get like high level fish. Yes. <laughs> for like certain things. And you're Stardew like, made me mm -hmm. like, at first I used to hate fishing in Stardew because yeah. like you would like, it, in order to get all the achievements and I was like, why are you making these fish so janky? Like, just yeah. calm down. 
calm down catfish story of seasons can be like that too like super chill but like then you have to get like the high level fish and i'm like nah no, i never do <laughs> i never do if there's uh, nothing else to mention, there's one other game that's technically out already, but it's another chill game that I've had my eye on that I want to play. It's called Paleo Pines, which is mm-hmm. like Stardew Valley, but with dinosaurs. Oh, oh I saw that. I had OK, I won yeah. that from the developers. Like I've won like the oh, like the when it was in beta. I don't have it anymore. Yeah. But like that was really cool. That was nice. nice. Yeah, that looks really interesting to me, especially because of the dinosaur factor, which I'm mm-hmm. all for. And I'm like. Dinos. I'm always looking for another uh, chill game that can kind of get its hooks in me and you get sucked into that loop of, you know, to finish another day and finish the day and like raise some mm-hmm. dinosaurs and you get dinosaur pails. And I'm like, I'm all for that. Having some dino pails. That's why you should play court keeper. You get pets and they don't die when you go into battle. That's nice. good. Brandy does not like pets that die. Yeah, <laughs> but I was worried about that because they follow you everywhere. And I was like, oh, my God, because sometimes you get ambushed. But yeah. like, no, they're <laughs> like. I put my pet up so it doesn't get hurt. That's what I do yeah. too. Like, especially in Minecraft, like everything just sitting in my house, my bird, my cat, my dog, they just never get to go outside. Mm. Yeah. Which is sad. Well, you don't want them to get hurt. I don't want them to die. They die so easily in that game. So I'm going to take us into our final section here, which we've already pretty much started at this point, <laughs> but this is how we roll. So we're going to talk about our favorite uh, brain turn off, fuck adulting, you know, any one of those, you know, titles you want to call it uh, and any recommendations that you guys might have for games to check out that do that for you. Does anyone have anything they want to jump in there to start us off with? Coral Island. <laughs> Coral. It's on ga- Coral Island. Coral. It's on Game Pass right now. It's the little yeah. girl who's on the island and then she had that like grandma fish thing like her grandma looked like something is am i no thinking that's the right diff- you played that game right brandy what she's talking about <sighs> oh mara mara yeah. yeah that one's cute too that but this one's cute. coral island mm-hmm. it's it's just you go to an island of course you get a farm it's kind of like stardew-esque but it's like this island that's been like um overrun with oil spills <clears throat> So basically what you're trying to do is clean up the environment, clean up the ocean. There are merfolk in the ocean. Yeah. America. Merfolk. Merfolk. Not not Americans. Woo. Um, And it's, it's kind of nice because then like there's areas that have been like logged too much. So it's like a lot of environmental stuff. So you have to plant trees, like they have, you know, festivals to plant trees. So I love it. Like it's super, super cool, super chill. The it's gorgeous. Like all the the characters are amazing. You've got like 28, 29 people that you could potentially romance. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Love romancing. Yeah. So there's like 50 some odd, I think, characters, but super, super fun. And then the other one I would say is my time at Sandrock. Mm. love that one that's another one i crowdfunded (laughs) but yeah like i've played that one since beta so i've had oh i have hundreds of hours in that one it's funny how brandy got into sand rock too because that i i was the reason that she even got into these games initially because i played uh my time at uh porsche Mm -hmm. back in the day when it first went on game pass i think in like 2019 2020 Mm. she was watching me play and she's like this looks really relaxing and really chill i was like yeah it's pretty chill for the most part she's like i'm gonna try it so then here we are you know three years later and hundreds of hours later (laughs) like one of the main things that she plays well sandrock just came to to console in november like it just got its full release and of course i had it on steam because that's you know how i played it originally but it came to console i bought it (laughs) on xbox and i've got 150 some odd hours in it in just a few weeks (laughs) so yeah means you liked it i love it it's so nice so great but yeah those are my two big ones right now i i liked kind of like what we're talking about like like games like minecraft like building Mm -hmm. you know like damn like giant towers like somehow that's weirdly satisfying (laughs) (laughs) it's it's terrible because like a giant robot tower in minecraft (laughs) yes yes he did 
it's just I find it funny how it's like you go into these type of games and you're like, I'm gonna make all this, like oh, I'm gonna make this giant thing or this very complex thing, and you just end up making like the most basic tower. <laughs> And it's like not not even out of like blocks. It's like it's all made out of sand. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jay, as much as you like Disney, you should play Dreamlight Valley because I, I think that's on Game yeah, Pass. Also, I started it. I played like fifteen minutes of it. I talked to like Goofy or Donald mm-hmm. in the beginning, and like I turned it off. I can't remember why. I I don't think I was bored of it. Uh, but I thought I read something about it. Like it's going like that was like a beta or something. Yeah. Wrong, yeah, yeah, it's like early access, basically. Yeah. Okay, okay, but it's still going to be on I think it's getting multiplayer. So, yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. But I think it's like, like in uh, Animal Crossing, where you like visit other people's yeah. islands. Because I was like, I don't really. That's yeah, I don't know like, how. I yeah, I don't like it personally yeah. because I was like, it makes sense when it's all contained in your world because it's your mm-hmm. imagination and your childhood and done right. So if you go to somebody else's world, you're like, yo, what the fuck is Mickey doing here? Like, why? <laughs> I know. It's like, I'm it's putting my houses wherever the game. hell I want. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck yeah. you doing, Mickey? What are you doing here, Mickey? It's supposed to be my childhood friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, Mickey? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, No, but going off of like, games like Minecraft, like, I... I don't know if you guys ever messed around with like Halo Forge. Mm-hmm. Um, that's essentially a tour. It's kind of like Minecraft, but it's like you can like build maps to like have like PvP or custom games against each other. Um, I it's very comforting to me, uh, especially because I have a lot of fond memories of when my wife and I first met. Now, uh, Halo Reach Forge was one of the main things we spent a lot of time in, and. Uh, one of the coolest things that we did, we had so much fun. We made, we called it the saw map. We essentially made a map, but it was just one giant obstacle course that would kill you if you make one wrong, uh, one wrong move. So eh, Dan might know the the word for it. The little canisters that explode, the little mm-hmm. energy canisters. Like a, are they fusion coils? That might, that might be Maybe. it. We had like those that would spawn through like a valley that had, like were blocked by walls and we would have it spawn from the air and like just like fall down and you had to like <laughs> find like the right little path through um and then we had, it's like it started out like you had to do like a like assassin's creed little leap of faith off of a cliff and you had to hit this tiny little like teleportation device it, that sounds it, it sounds very stressful. stressful it sounds just yeah. like i say this <laughs> but, how is it cozy? Down, cozy. <laughs> Okay, this is sounded like those really elaborate like Mario Maker levels that people no, make. They're just like impossible. No, no, like as, as stressful as it sounds, the process of thinking it out, talking it out with somebody, and making it, and like testing it, dying a million times, but that one time you get it right, you go like, "Oh my god, that's so cool!" Um, no, like I, I love that. I don't know. It's a weird taste in a cozy game. I have a, I have some weird cozy games that I like to play. Well, even if it's more just the mindless factor, because yeah. like that's it. I was going to get into that, too, that like one of my main mindless games is the Musu games, like the Dynasty Warriors, Samurai Warriors. Like, oh, yeah, you literally do nothing but mash, you know, one button and watch your dude just murder hordes of enemies. (laughs) And I just run around. I get that. I get that OCD factor where it's like I'm on this giant map. It's full of thousands of dudes. And I got to make sure I kill every single one of them. And then I'm like, yay, completion. I'm satisfied. (laughs) Murder and mayhem. I I can understand that. One hundred percent. Like, I also love games that you can play with people, essentially. Like, I, I like how there can be conversations that can be had. And, like, that's very, like, cozy to me to where you can, like, let your guard down and, like, talk with people. Like, I, I've had friends, like... I like, mean, we do with Broforce? <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Broforce. <laughs> bro no, but, like, I, 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 I had friends, um, like, I would play, like, old school Gears of War 2 and 3 Horde mode, which sounds not like a very cozy game, but we would play that and like, we would just talk about our day, talk about life problems and whatnot. And it was very calm and like cozy. It was very, um, like healing in some like ways. Therapeutic. We had tons yeah. of fun playing I used to do the exact years. same thing. Yeah. And like, it's, it's crazy. Cause it's, that's not something you would associate like as a cozy game, but I guess it's like some more of the experiences you have with it, mm-hmm. with the people you choose to have it with, I guess. Yeah. Cause to me, if there's like a whole bunch of stuff flying at you, but you're just like laughing and, laughing hysterically and just having fun with the people like mm-hmm. it, it doesn't matter if you die who cares you know it's like it's just fun 
because like i had a blast i told dan the other day like i want to play gears with you again because like we had so much fun <laughs> like it was Love nonsense it. but we had so much fun definitely fun on a similar note i did the same thing back in the day especially the old like xbox 360 xbox live arcade days playing halo mm -hmm. online playing gears online uh and i had the same thing with a buddy who was like especially because like i left home after high school went in the the military and the only way for me to really stay in touch with my friends was on video games playing xbox live and like usually that's exactly what we did was just you know we're hanging out on xbox live while we're blasting monsters but we're <laughs> catching up we're just chilling we're talking about our day and our lives and things and this is where you know we're we're socializing we're having that bro time mm -hmm. And meanwhile, we're just blowing the faces off of everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's happening is really intense, but it's not for us. <laughs> what's happening? Did you ever? Um, I, I know I'm not the only one. I know a lot of people probably do it, but it's like when you couldn't have that friend who can get online and play those type of games with you. Like I, I always love to just go. I mean, Spotify wasn't around what like 15 mm. years ago, but like I would love to just put on music over and over the gameplay and just play like if i played like gears of war like i would just i would start from wave one and just go as long as i can i'll maybe go like 30 waves or something and uh just jam out the music or do the same thing with um i'm gonna talk about it before like spider-man games i find the swinging just like the most therapeutic thing i feel like the best thing you could possibly do with spider-man swinging is put on some lo-fi and just have lo-fi going while you're just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Swinging along. I've, I've always like, <laughs> any any open world Spider Man game where you can just swing. Oh God! Like I, I would do that for hours. I, mean, I not, love not... that. Like you guys are talking about. I just want to take out the Spider Man, and you just you guys just talk about. Yeah, I love swinging. <laughs> just some music, just swinging. <laughs> nice, nice breezy autumn day. Yeah, just swinging. <laughs> just swinging. I love to swing ya and the Muna and the Juna. I love that song. <laughs> Great right. song. But then you got games like Power Wash Simulator, you know, where it just it feels good. It just it 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 tickles that itch. Or... <laughs> I don't think it's weird. I think you should stop saying it's weird. It's it's not weird. There are definitely weird things out there. But like uh -huh. like playing, doing something that you enjoy, listening to music. I don't know a gamer who hasn't done that and put on mm -hmm. their own music. Like I'll listen to Tupac while I'm playing Minecraft. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, yeah, hey, don't even start wow. on Minecraft. Oh my god. Yeah. I have to listen to something else during Minecraft. I can't do Minecraft's music. It puts me to sleep. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that, that DMX X gonna I give it to you as I'm planting carrots and potatoes. Right. Dan will play something while uh playing EDF. Like he'll I was gonna say I, I did that recently yeah. where I realized that I could play music while playing EDF. So like literally just like it's that like doom transition to Animal Crossing moment of like in the game you're like ah! but in my headphones like la 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 la, 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 la. I'm, I'm Matthew Broderick and Godzilla like singing in the rain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I had Makes that moment like not too long ago. I forgot what that's called. There's there's a name for that where like you put calming music to chaotic scenes. Mm. It's like it's an actual thing, like in movie theater. Like, um, what was it called? I would say there's so many times where that happens too, and yeah, and yeah. Stuff. where it's yeah. just like really calming music. I think like the one time I like really realized what it was, I was watching um, some anime. I forgot what it was, but like everybody was dying, and mm. it, and they were playing like "What a Wonderful World." <laughs> in the background <laughs> but it fit it like it, right. it yeah. was like so good but yeah i have very distinct memories of like playing super smash brothers in the back in the day on my nintendo 64 while i've got my boom box just blasting slipknot <laughs> <laughs> so i'm listening to like the double bass drum and i'm over there like beating the crap out of my friends like ah! That's very therapeutic <laughs> I, I think music can make any game a cozy game if you try right. hard enough yeah yeah <laughs> Play nine inch nails <laughs> well it depends on how you see it too because like for mm -hmm. me listening to speed metal is very cathartic and like really like it's it's like a, a release of energy yeah so it has I a different effect turned into cathartic games more yes. so than cozy games you know right. what i mean because i think cathartic could be any type of game that you get that therapeutic feeling from mm -hmm. whereas oh, like yeah. cozy is a very particular Specific. type of game but we're talking about all kinds of games that give us that cozy feeling like that mm -hmm. cathartic feeling so yeah. yeah 
cozy like feeling. You know? yeah. yeah. I mean, the overall <laughs> property here is literally like games to like fuck off to, essentially. Yeah. You know, that's Basically. where you're just going like popping your the plug out of your brain. Like, all right. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> like, stressful day at work. You want to just blast things. I'm going to hang your dick up. Yes. And blast things. <laughs> you caterpillar. Hang it up. Honey, I'm home. Work was a killer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, the conversations. <laughs> On a complete opposite note, one of the, my favorite cozy games that I've played recently was Unpacking. Oh, yeah. That's so good. That's an that was... actual like chill, super cozy game. Did you finish it? Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. I yeah. finished it in like one sitting. Yeah, that was such a good... It told such a good story in such mm -hmm. a simplistic way. Con contextual storytelling. Yes. Was so pristine. It was so, so good. good. And like I, t I listened to the devs talk about how they came up with it. And it was like, well, we were unpacking and I realized like, you know, when I'm putting stuff away, it's kind of like a puzzle. And I was like, you can't, that's, that's what started that amazing game. Like you've told, it was a coming of age story mm -hmm. all around unpacking. It was, it was great. It was really good. That's pretty cool. I didn't know you talked to the dev about that. No, no, no. I listened to the devs listen talk to about I it. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. I did message them and was like, oh, I loved your game. And they were like, oh my God, thank you so much. And I was like, yeah. That is pretty interesting because I've moved a lot in my life and there's always that like the process of getting things out and putting yeah. them where they need to be and like finding and their getting rid places. of old things mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. yeah old that's a cool game though i definitely recommend that to anyone who if you get a chance to play that game it's pretty short and sweet you can beat it in like i think six hours tops. yeah that's a couple hours depends on how long it takes you to get through it and like how nitpicky you are with where you put things but it's, it's super fun it's got a really interesting way of storytelling because there's no dialogue there's no narrative but you understand what a person's life is going through just by the rooms, the apartments, and the items that you're putting away. There's another game, and I think it's already out. Oh my god! And I, it's I think it's called Moonstone something. That wow. sounds it's Moonstone Island. Yes. Okay, I know this game. I haven't played I, it, but I know this game. I haven't played it either, but like it gives me Stardew Valley vibes. But like you're also like it's like Stardew Valley meets Pokemon. Didn't Tyler review mm. that, Brandy? Yes, he did. Yes, yes. he did. Did he like yeah. it? He loved it. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking about playing it. I just wish it was multiplayer. Mm. Yeah. Do you remember That's anything from his review that you could share on it? No. No. Okay. She said that he liked it. <laughs> That's, that's what I remember. You know how many reviews I read? I know. <laughs> he enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. I think he gave it like a nine at a 10 or something like he oh that's he, nice because he's like a really big pokemon like fan so he just he really liked it yeah. see i never played pokemon like i liked the cartoons when i was a kid but like i never cared to play the game because yeah. um, if i can't have them for real like you know i was the total <laughs> opposite growing up i played the game but i never watched the show really <laughs> yeah was, was it very... why I don't know. Like, all right. So, <laughs> Sorry, I mean for that to be like, why? No, no this no, is no. What's wrong I'm trying, with you? I'm trying to think how to present it because it's like growing up. It's weird. Growing up, my family was just like, I, I, I like the stuff on the. It was stuff on the news, and it was just like my parents, like fed into that. It's like Pokemon's the devil. Oh, blah, blah, blah. but then they let you play and, the game. <laughs> Later, later, <laughs> later, I play the game. So during, <laughs> during, no, 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 so like I originally, like I wanted to watch, uh, like the show, and I actually did one of the first movies I saw in theaters that I remember was was the, the, was the Pokemon movie. No, like the, the like the original one. Um, Wasn't that what was the original? I thought that was the first movie. Wasn't it? The one oh, with the Mew. Yes, the one with Mew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. No, sorry. That actually was like one of the first movies I've ever seen in the theaters. But shortly after that, my parents were like, "Oh no, Pokemon's the devil! Throw away all, like they made me throw away all my cards. They made oh. me. They're like, you're not watching the show. Blah blah blah. Oh my god, but, they got rid of your ritual cards. And like the funny thing about it is because like nowadays it's probably worth something. Yeah, <laughs> which is terrible. Probably. And like they did the same with like Yu-Gi-Oh too. Originally, um, I know I'm kind of getting off course here, mm. but I later a few years later they were kind of more laid back on it on the idea 
and like but i at the time i didn't have as much interest in watching the show as i did like the games so like mm. i got into the games but i was like yeah i don't really care about the show too much I, like i watch Oh, but i didn't watch pokemon so i played the games that's interesting i mean i guess they're kind of did you ever check out digimon very little okay very little i watched a little bit of the show growing up that's so funny because like i was one of those kids that when pokemon was on tv i was like this is for babies this is dumb <laughs> but then as soon as digimon came out i'm like this is amazing i love this <laughs> they're the same. i know <laughs> Both and Mon. The, I know. I think it's because Digimon looked more hard edged than Pokemon. Like Pokemon was more cutesy. I like think you my, had Squirtle and like. I think Pikachu. I had an issue with Ash. Like I didn't like Ash and the voice of Ash and that character for whatever reason. Oh, okay. Um, but I remember just being obsessed with Digimon, coming home and watching that after school. Pokemon, for whatever reason, was on in the morning, and Digimon was on in the afternoon. And I would consume the hell out of Digimon, and I liked the Digimon characters better, and I liked the narrative better. But I never really played Pokemon games until years later, and I didn't get super into them. Yeah, I haven't played any of them. And I just watched the... the. Well, I lived in, like, Tennessee. Well, I live in Tennessee now. But, like, that was back when, like, anime was not a huge thing. So, like, if mm -hmm. I said I liked anime... Everybody just bought me a bunch of Pokemon stuff because they were like, that's anime. Hey, here's so, Hello <laughs> Kitty. Bam. Yeah. Anime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but, um, yeah. That was back in the day when anime for me was like Vampire Hunter D. <laughs> well, that's a classic. And that only came on the Sci Fi Channel. I remember. I rented it from Blockbuster. <laughs> oh, you, oh, I saw it on the Sci Fi Channel along with the Ninja Scroll. And the uh... first anime I ever saw was Akira and it fucked me up. I was like 11. <laughs> it's not, it's not a kid's movie. <laughs> I remember that was a thing that me and my buddies did where we were like, we got to go down to Blockbuster and rent every anime they had. And they literally had like six yeah. anime. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like Akira, uh, Ninja Scroll, uh, Vampire Hunter D, uh, Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. Uh, I know there was like one or two other ones, but I'm blanking on them right now. But anyways, like those are the first animes I ever watched. But yeah, same thing with like Akira, like just sit there like, this is a chill. Yeah. I don't know what was happening. I watched it again years later to try to figure out what was going on and to like de-scar myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, Does so back to like the cozy game. <laughs> I just yeah. would love to play. <laughs> Bring it around. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to try out that game. I just wish I just know that I'll I'll get bored. I'm so used to like I think like I'm by myself a lot. So when I play games, I want to play with other people or I want to watch other people play certain games. So like, even though I brought up Alan Wake, which is not a cozy game at all, and I'm not going to trash it right now, but I'm watching somebody else play it and then trashing it as he's playing. So. <laughs> Franny does that with me. She'll, she'll watch me play games and just be like, start making fun of it. And I'm like, it's it fair. It depends what it is. Sometimes it's stupid stuff though. You gotta call it out. Like, well, most of the games I play that I know are stupid, I'm very, very aware. <laughs> oh, see, I don't think he was aware because he hadn't played it in a long time. Now that he's playing, I was like, that was fucking dumb. And then, like, oh, so, so, the whole time, like, you're collecting people's like little coffee thermoses throughout the game, like they're collectibles. And I was like, now you just run around stealing people's coffee. Like, what, what's the point of that? Like, rude. Steal some bullets, like steal I something would to help somebody you. for stealing my copy. Yeah, it's one of the collectibles. <laughs> They're just thermos, thermoses everywhere. And you okay, just like, Starfield. Yeah. I stole sandwiches, so whatever. Oh my god, you can steal sandwiches in Starfield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can oh take anything. Take I, I, <laughs> listen, I had a whole cargo hold full of plants. Okay. I Listen, I love a game. I should have said this. I love a game where I can just loot everything. Like, yeah. I will steal paintings off of walls. Like, in uh, <laughs> uh, Divinity Club, Original Sin 2, uh, my friends got so mad at me because I would just take everything. They'd be like, it's a fork and a plate. I was like, yeah, but it's about to bring me like, I'm about to get, like, one cent off each one. You know what I'm saying? So let me just go ahead. Nobody's using them. I had so much money by the end of that game. I just want to be rich in every game because I can't be I, rich in I started stealing like all I started just taking all the spoons for Jake because <laughs> he couldn't find any spoons yeah. in his game. There's no spoons in Starfield. Yeah, so when I went to Starfield, everybody has their thing to collect. You know, there was a, the viral video of like the potatoes. Um, potatoes yeah. Brandy was I doing plants. Dan, you were doing like the stuffed animals or whatever. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And so I was like, I'm going to collect spoons. <laughs> I have a and cargo hold of spoons. maybe like, I don't, I don't have to put them in the cargo hold. I can just put them in some random place. Uh, keep them in my inventory. I have like a total of five spoons. I collected through 40 plus hours of playing. I was like, where's all the spoons? At? So I started taking pictures of all the spoons I was finding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one Cause I was finding so many forks and knives and I was like, do spoons just not exist in space anymore? I love that you stay dedicated because I probably would have switched by then. Like, guess I'm a fork girl now. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, spoon, spoon life for the one. I have a question about Starfield because I haven't played it, but I've like everybody's like raging about it, and I've seen like clips of it, and I don't know if it's just me or if it was just like those couple of scenes I saw. But like when you're talking to somebody. Is it just like, is it like talking head syndrome? Is it just them standing there with their, their like mid, mid drift up and they're just talking at you? I guess like that's how no, most of the like RPGs operate for the most part. Yeah. No, just, like, in Baldur's Gate, they don't do that. From goofy camera that's angles. That's not a Bethesda's game though. <laughs> Oh, well, see, I've never played a Starfield game or any oh. Bethesda game, so that's why I was. Yeah, I was gonna. You started talking about stealing stuff. I was about to ask if you played Skyrim because there's like people who have world records for stealing everything in Skyrim. No, but I heard the Skyrim is a game that I should check out. If you put off by the the talking head thing, you're you're not gonna like any of them then. Oh, never mind then. I am put off by it. I don't know why. It just it just bugs me. I'm like, I guess I didn't. I didn't even like. It didn't register to me. Like. I don't know. I guess I'm just used to it or something. Yeah, I've never played any of those games. So like after coming from like Baldur's Gate and Divinity Original Sin and like other games where you like you see like it's like a scene that's set up and like the people are talking. I was just like, why is it just is this like how it is every time you talk to someone? And I just mm-hmm. didn't like it. Going down that rabbit hole, I'm pretty sure like most Bethesda games are like that. They like they always square the person up to the camera and you're yeah. looking straight at them. And that was actually my one of my biggest gripes with um Horizon Zero Dawn. I always felt like that was really uncomfortable because it was always like this hard zoom on the other person's face. And I was, yeah, I don't like that. It it feels unnatural. (laughs) Like if everything in the else in the game is like very natural moving. And then all of a sudden, every time you talk to somebody, it's just like, (laughs) (laughs) like, well, Jake's got a good story about that. We can play that for another time. Sorry. Yeah, for real. Um, Anyways. (laughs) I thought of another cozy game that we're looking at that uh, it hasn't come out yet. It's set to come out next year, and that's Pale World. I don't know how cozy it actually is, but it's like an open world multiplayer survival game with Pokemon elements where you got to capture monsters and survive in that sense. So that's one to maybe check out. Anything like I, I'm, I'm hit or miss with a collecting monsters thing. Like sometimes I find it really cool, and sometimes I'm like, hey, what the hell do I want to do that for? To and take then, over the world. Take over the world. Take over the world. <laughs> I, want to, I want you to say that at the end of the show and then it just goes black, but you can still hear you saying just it. Just still hearing just like, Jake in the void. That's so great. You got you. When we wrap it up, I got you. Oh my God, I love it. Mm-hmm. Got it. You know what? Once we stop the show, I'm going to think of so many cozy games right? that I cannot think so, of right now. I've, I've got one, like we touched on earlier, a game that's cozy till it's not. Mm-hmm. It's like the first three levels of Crash Bandicoot 1. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, any of those games, because it always starts really easy, and you're yeah, like, this is fun. So much yeah. fun. Dinkum's really cool. Like, it's it's Dinkum's very, uh, yeah, Animal Crossing, except... <laughs> it's a it's a better blend of not... Stardew with Animal Crossing. Okay, it's I mean, only it's only not chill for you, Brandy, because you get way too easily startled. Yeah, but yeah, were there like, jump scares in it? No, um, there's 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 alligators, alligators or crocodiles, or crocodiles, crocodiles. Something, and sharks. <gasps> you know what we should play? Yeah. It's not. Please be a survival game where things yes. can attack you because I will 100% play those games with Brandy. <laughs> it, it's not like... What is happening? Ah. Oh, okay. It's not like survival, but it's called a day out where you basically hunt cryptoids. Mm. Ooh. So, I mean, you do have to survive, but like you you have these like missions and you go in and like you have to solve and like the mysteries are very easy it's like you know you just follow the dots but then at the end you have to like catch these cryptoids and like it's so fun like if you've seen any of the clips on my instagram where i'm just like 
putting like hardcore rap behind them because I think I'm a baller. That's the, <laughs> that, that's the game that I'm playing because everybody's like, oh, what is this game? I'm like, watch. it's called A Day Out. <laughs> yeah. Was that the that, one that you sent fun. to me? I think you pinged yes, me on that game. I was like, we should play it. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I messed up then. Nah, it's what the hell? We're all busy, but we should play it at some yes. point. It's really fun. Yes. Plus, I need more people because, like, these monsters are kicking our ass. <laughs> I was going to give another shout out to Valheim because I feel like that's. I get super sucked into that game. That's one of those games that I, get, I can just lose myself in. And it's got that really chill music mm-hmm. that you can just, like, just kind of. It's weirdly really beautiful for oh, it yeah. to be, like, pixelated the way, like, pixelated the way it is. It's, like, really beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And just zoning out playing that game and it's like all right i need to collect wood and then you just go off collecting wood for a couple of hours you know and then like oh this little goblin's bothering me like fuck off and but then also <laughs> exactly. a horde of goblins to come out of nowhere you're like ah what the hell's happening <laughs> <laughs> uh but if you haven't played enough of elheim to get to the point where you actually have to like hunt like the deities that live mm-hmm. on the little islands the, that's mean, just like the deer guy scary, yes. yeah yeah no i've gone like to the first like i fought those two and then like we got on a boat we went somewhere and there were like these one hit mosquitoes and it was like ridiculous like i was like this is not this is not the valheim i know no longer chill yeah no longer chill take me home the big cave trolls bastards yeah they are so ugly and i feel like their junk is just hanging out like we're just like (laughs) That loincloth is just we're, barely... We're a breathe away oh, from man. seeing too much. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not even jump. a hard breeze, just a, a slight breeze, and you just got mm. it in your face. <laughs> like in Starfield, you know? Yeah, yeah. face yeah. junk. Just... I'm just picturing, like, those cartoons I see people make of, like, what it's like playing a game. <laughs> Picture that breeze with the loincloth <laughs> flapping up and the person being like, Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so, um, what are we talking about? Troll junk. We're just troll troll junk. junk. <laughs> so thanks for joining us for this conversation about I'm troll. here for it, man. Troll junk. I mean, why not? Yeah. Um, I mean, if anybody's played Valheim, they know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah. yeah. It's not like Baldur's Gate where you get to pick what it looks like. I haven't, I haven't played it yet. You get to pick. That's not spoiling anything for me. That's just in no. I'm just saying. Mode. I haven't. I haven't. Like you have it. to yeah. play it. Listen, I know they did that so that some modders can come through and just like do full blown pornographic, full blown scenes. dongs. And I am ready for it because, like, I was playing it and I was like, wait a minute, you get to pick the size and what it looks like and all that. Kind of, I was, yeah, yeah. Yes. Cyberpunk had a little bit of that. Like this one's got googly eyes on it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this one's like, a little mustache, these little horns coming out of it. <laughs> no, but they look really realistic. I was very surprised. Yeah. I was very surprised. I was so like, this oh, is why Des is playing so much Baldur's Gate. She's just okay. the character creator. So, <laughs> like, honestly, uh, the guys at level one make fun of me because I have wicked whims on The Sims, and I'm just like, I just wanted to be as realistic as possible. And they're like, Yeah, okay. It's like sex on the coffee table. It's realistic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing all of if me doing any of this and Brandy just being like, what the hell? You guys should play it together, though. Yeah. Let's go make dongs together. <laughs> Ultimate. <laughs> turn you your brain off. play it together, Kill though. Because it's... it's uh, Baldur's Gate, right? Up. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3. You can't We're waiting together. on it to come to Xbox because yeah, it hasn't hit it. Xbox yet. Okay. Yeah, but That's you can't play it together. Do you have... Wait, I don't... How do you, how do, you do that... You have like two Xboxes? Like, how do you? Yeah, we have two Xboxes. Oh, oh, (laughs) fancy. Okay, yeah. (laughs) How do you think I game? She spends hundreds of hours playing. Yeah. One of you was on one console and the other one was on something else. No. No, we had to get two. Do you have two PS5s? We only have one PS5 right now. I've got PS4. We might get another one. We might as well. It's like not that expensive now. And we have two big screen tvs in our <laughs> living room side by side gaming yo um, what, what's your address one more that's time that's the dream <laughs> that's the dream 
like right I, next I, to each other. The first time we got that set up all put together and done, I literally posted that online, like, you know, life goals. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then the kid has her little TV and set up, you know, her little Xbox one that we gave her. <laughs> That's so she got cute. the hand me down Xbox Y'all one. Y'all real gaming family. <laughs> yep. I know. We've got to get her on more like streams or something because should be I fun. heard Bluey was really good. Oh, Bluey is great. The game or the show? The game. The show oh, I heard the is game, really though. good too. But Dang. yeah, they um so I'm doing some writing for the studio that did uh Bluey, but I'm not mm. working on Bluey, it's on a different IP. But like um I've heard really great things about it. So if she likes the cartoon, she might like the game. Also, I mean, it's how I like the cartoon <laughs> just came out with uh, a Rugrats game. I don't know if you guys Ooh. have seen that, but Mm -mm. it's super cute so like you can you can switch the style of it and play it as if like it came out back in the 90s when the original cartoon came out and then you could switch the graphics if you want to play it like in today's like look wow interesting you should check it out yeah i remember playing um what was it Rugrats in paris on the 64 oh <laughs> yeah i can't say i've ever played such ugly game. babies but lovable <laughs> it's an ugly Who's an ugly baby? <laughs> Tommy is such an ugly baby, but I love yeah. I love him. It's a little weird shaped warped head. <laughs> They're yeah. very weird. Well, on that completely <laughs> random tangent of <laughs> my <mindlessness>, like <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna close this out here, but first, uh Dez, please tell our audience where they can find you and anything awesome you would like for them to check out. Oh, okay. So you guys can find me over at the Level One Podcast. It uh airs every Wednesday. It's uh the double XP podcast. Sometimes I'm there, sometimes I'm not because I'm busy. Um you can also check out Dames for Games, which is a showcase that uh we put together that highlights women in the gaming industry because now you know we make up 47 percent of uh the gaming clan. So please check that out if you want to be an ally or if you want to support or if you just want to shout yourself out and tell us why you love video games. We are looking for star players to put in our next showcase. Um just expressing why they love video games even if they're not in the industry themselves. So that I'm, I'm doing some narrative design stuff and like you can find me over at Freedom. I'm the events marketing manager. So if we're ever at a convention like PAX or something, stop by the Freedom booth. More than likely I will be there or I will be in the bathroom or I'll be eating if I'm not there. But <laughs> more than likely I will be there. So yeah, you can find me in a lot of different places. Nice. I should yes. drop my socials, shouldn't I? That's what you meant. It, no, you're fine. No, <laughs> okay. The socials will be in the description of the show. People will find you. Don't you worry. <laughs> they'll, they'll be there. I was like, here's my home address. Do you, want to pizza party? you can find me here in this bathroom eating a roast chicken and some grilled cheese. <laughs> At the same time. Like the animal I am. <laughs> No, but thank you so much for uh, coming back and hanging out with us, Tez. I'm me. going to message you after this, and we will hook up on some of those other things and playing some of those games that we talked about. Yeah, that's going to happen. Let's do it. I feel bad. I want to add Brandy to Discord because I don't think I have you on no. there. No. Mm. Also, I feel bad because you told me you were an accountant, so I'm going to ask you some questions. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> no, don't. You're, you're, you're fine. <laughs> To take us home, please pop over to CouchSoup.com and check out some amazing articles, opinion pieces, and game reviews. A lot of us write and cover games on the website, and be sure to sign up and join the community so that you can chat and hang out with us, too. So thank you all for joining us tonight. Thank you, uh, thank you, Brandy. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, Des. I'm a little disheveled. I will catch my throat. <laughs> this person I live with, who the hell are you? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> How did you get in my house? <laughs> One last time, be sure to check out CouchSoup.com and feed your hungry nerd's soul. Thank you all, and we'll see you guys next week. We're going to take over the world! <gasps> Don't die on this. <laughs> That was beautiful. <laughs> that was so beautiful. And scene. And scene.